Most of you doing this probably won't have a roll cage in here, so it'll make it easier for you, but he's just attaching that now to that wooden post that was up there earlier. Okay, we're putting our last couple bows up. I got this one centered, getting ready to screw this one up. Um, you do this one a little bit different. I have to just kind of screw it in place and lock it down. Uh, because the metal frame is up underneath this, so I'm going to have to pre-drill my holes all the way into the metal and shoot longer screws into it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill these holes. Okay, you could hear it went through the metal. Okay, now we're gonna run a screw through there and hopefully it's long enough to catch through both layers of wood and the metal. Okay. It looks like we got it. Okay, I'm building the dome light extension to bring our dome light down so it's flush with our headliner. So I'm cutting it out right now and I'll show you how we put it in. Okay, so here's how we made our extension. I cut it out to fit the wiring and everything in the dome light. So now we will just screw this up there and that'll be the same flush level as the wood you can see. So that'll be nice. Okay, we went ahead and made our boards that go up here. See how it's nice and level with the headliner? And we centered this so that would go up just like that. Okay, we're putting up our last bow that we got to put up, so we're almost done. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our last bow up. We got our light set up and everything like that, so now we just pull it tight forward like we've been doing. Stapling it down. going ahead and I'm pulling forward to the corners again really nice and tight almost as tight as you actually can and then I'll go to the other side now we're pulling to our corners again pull diagonal forward this is a little longer piece than the other one so I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure on it okay we're doing our diagonal pull nice and tight See how tight I pulled it and it created wrinkles that way, which is fine because they all come out this way. Okay, we can trim our edges now. Remember, leave it go forward on your end. Okay, we're pulling on our last section of vinyl before we put the very last one up. That goes to the front windshield. Okay, we got that done now. During our seam, I'm not sure if this one's going to be straight because I'm limited to where I can get the staple gun in at. Okay, we got it. Now we're gonna pull this down and forward. And we'll give this a nice little pull downward, but not too bad. Oh. center's down nice and tight. The wall will tighten up even more when it comes into play. Yep, and then the wall 
we'll push up on it wherever, whatever level we want it at. And we're down to one more section. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and air chisel this old piece off, because we're not putting our headliner on the factory wear. We're gonna make those pieces that are wrapped and covered and look really nice and sweet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue some foam on the front. I'm just real picky about things. I'd like to have a little bit of foam on here just to protect the head if it ever has to hit there. So I got my contact cement on my padding and we sprayed this with glue up here so we're going to go ahead and stick it. So I'm going to start from the center and where the crease is. And stick it. Now I'm going to pull it tight to one side and lay it on the crease and roll it up so it's nice and smooth and I'll do the same thing on this other side. Get a nice pull down the seam. Roll it in on the seam and roll it up. That way you got it nice and smooth. We want this to look really good for the headliner to be sitting up against. Of our last bow, and then we'll be finished with this headliner for the day. Last couple of screws up. Make sure you push it all the way forward or all the way back towards the other piece. Okay, we got our last bow in, and you're ready to stretch forward. Okay, so you always want to stretch and start from your center, so I'm going to stretch this super tight all the way to the front and stick it by the windshield. Yeah, I got us a nice little grip right there, and then I'll work my way to the corners. Okay, so always pull forward and out to your corners to get it as tight every direction as possible before you stick it. So now I'm getting ready to find my edge down here. I'm going to pull it really nice and tight both directions. And then rub my hand on it and stick it. Nice and tight. And now I'll go to the middle section. Hold it good and tight. And then you bring it right down there. See how I made a really nice line? I left a little excess up there because I think the rubber seal wants to go up all the way and there could be a trim panel that goes up there. There, so we're pulling our last corner, same thing. Pull it forward and pull it towards the edge, tight as you can. Stick it down and make your way to the center. See how nice a line that made? Can't see our edge up here. See if we if we uh, wouldn't have put the tape up there, you would get a line like this across there. So. That's just a frame, that's where it crosses, and that we wanted to make it as minimal as possible, so there you barely even see it.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and trim this off, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a little extra meat on it, just in case we wanna wrap it around this side and glue it a little bit. That way the rubber seal pinches it really nice in there and it can't come out later on. Okay, we're gonna finish our last seam, so we're just gonna fold it over, make sure we get it straight up and down. Give it a little tug forward and down. And lock it down. We can only go so far forward with our wood, so what is that? Oh. Ah. Staple, that wasn't on the staple. Okay, so now we're going to pull it down like we have been, do our last few staples of wood. And okay, I'm going to trim that off. I always leave everything a little bit long at first. So our walls are going to come up to here. And then they're going to stop at an angle and go down here and it's going to meet up against this place right there and that would be the finishing look there and then we'll show you how we finish this later. Here's our last seam. Pull it nice and tight. Soon. Okay, let us see peak angle. I love how the cage matches. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. What do you think, guys? We'll be starting on the walls probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching.